Now we'll see the possibility for having different layouts for a single object, depending on the platform and on the screen's size and orientation, as well as other parameters. Here, we can see the detail of the work width of speakers both in view mode and in edit mode. This means that the work width for smart devices, by default, initializes two different layouts for an object. Keep in mind that we had already customized some things in these layouts. By default, they will both be initialized identically. The combo that appears below the layout, to the left, enables us to change and select the layout on which we want to work, editing either one or the other. To the right, we have buttons to add a new layout or to delete the layout that we are editing at the time. However, the fact of having multiple layouts for a single object goes beyond what we just saw regarding the general section and the mode, view or edit. For instance, if upon the view of the detail of a conference, we want the list of the conference's speakers to appear as a link only for the case of telephone and Android OS, but we want all the information to appear inline when the app is executed on a tablet, then we need to design two different layouts for the detail node. It's the same object, but with two different layouts, and it'll apply one or the other, depending on the platform, Android telephone or tablet. Additionally, for the case of the telephone, we also want to view the tracks as tabs, as we can see here. But we won't want to show them on the tablet, so how can we design the layouts differently? You'll remember that, previously, we already customized the detail node so that it appears as we actually want it to appear on an Android phone. In fact, we actually didn't indicate the type of platform on which we wanted it to appear like that. For this whole platform, we had set all modes and the default orientations, that is landscape and portrait. But now, we'll want this screen in the detail node that looks like this to be the layout only for Android phones. So. We'll do it in Genexus, where, upon pressing this button, Add Layout, we will deploy a dialog that will allow us, by selecting among these combos, to choose the specifications for which the layout we're about to create is valid. The parameters available are Platform, with values any platform, Android and iOS, Device Kind, with values any device kind, phone or tablet, TV, and watch. Size, any size, and only when we select phone or tablet for device kind, values phone, 7-inch tablet, and 10-inch tablet. Orientation, default orientation, portrait, and landscape. And finally, mode. If we're in the detail node of a work with, we can select mode, view, or edit. For more on this, you can go to the Genexus wiki. Let's see it all in Genexus. So here, we have the detail node of object work with devices sessions, and we have what we had programmed before. We had placed this tab control, and we had set the section general speakers, and in the tracks tab, the section for tracks. But we did it as general layout, so it would be the layout executed on any platform we can see that we only have this layout defined. What we'll do is add a new layout. It'll be for the platform Android, phone, any version, any mode, and default orientations. We'll have the same layout for two orientations. It also requests that we select the starting template, with which that layout will be initialized. If we set it as default, it'll be the default option, but we want to initialize it as we had it in the layout that we created. So, we'll allow it to be initialized with the layout that we have. So we do click here. Note that it's telling us that, in another case, any platform and default orientation will be used for this layout. So, here we see that now we have two layouts for this object, the one we've just created, and the one it will apply to any platform 
any mode, and any orientation. At this point, it will already be established as a hierarchy, and that's why we see a tree. So if we're actually executing on an Android phone, this will be the layout selected, Android phone. And when we're executing on a different device, the selection will be this other one, any platform. That is to say that the precedence level takes place. What's closest to the platform we have, and what we're executing, will be what's applied. Otherwise, the layout applied will be the one with the highest hierarchy. But this wasn't what we wanted for the general case. What did we want? We'll now eliminate, and we'll leave the layout default. All sections content, so that the platform's default option will be selected for all cases. We go to the properties. Because it has platform default, it will assume the default of the platform, tabs, inline, or link as applicable. Now, if for the case of the tablet, we want it to appear as we showed before, that is, everything viewed in line, then we must create a new layout, this time for Android. Tablet. And we leave everything else by default. And now, how do we want to initialize it? It offers us the possibility of initializing it as any of the platforms we have. So we'll initialize it as the default one. This layout uses all sections content, but we didn't want to show tracks. So in this case, we would have to delete all sections content. We go to the toolbox, and we'll insert the two sections that we want to show. General, and the section speaker. We see that each one of them is in line. OK. And now we'll correct the rows. And we'll put PD in the last row. So this is how we will have the possibility of multiple layouts for a single object. And that's how we customize the way in which we want each layout to appear. Let's now go back to the presentation. To conclude this subject, we'll see some examples of situations where we should use different layouts. I want to use one design for a tablet and a different one for a phone. I want to use one design for an Android device and a different one for the case of iOS, even when they have the same screen size. For the same device, I want to use one design for portrait mode and a different one for landscape mode. For the same device, I want to use one design when I edit one entity, and a different design when I'm viewing it. Additionally, everything we saw in this chapter is valid for objects of the type Panel for Smart Devices, with which we'll be working on later. And this will be the end of this topic.